What is up guys? Welcome back to DCS World and welcome back aboard the Hornet for yet another tutorial video. In this one we have a couple of items to discuss. We're going to talk about the M61 Vulcan Cannon, which is a Gatling gun that is mounted in the nose of our aircraft. We're also going to talk about some of the ACM or Air Combat Maneuvering radar modes that we have available to us. So the gun itself is, again, as I mentioned, a multi-barreled rotary Gatling cannon that carries 578 rounds of high-explosive incendiary ammunition. We have the option, arming on the ground, of selecting tracers or no tracers, but we only get the single ammo type that is high-explosive incendiary. The gun is designed for air-to-air -air engagements primarily. We also have some ACM radar modes, which we'll take a look at. Now to get everything set up, as before, we need to go master arm on. And we need to select air to air mode. And then to select the gun, we need to use weapon selector forward to select the gun. And now our gun is selected and we can see on the HUD we have gun 578 for the number of rounds of ammunition we have left. We also, it looks like somewhat of a flat line. In fact, let me maneuver the aircraft a little bit. There we go. We have a gun funnel. Now the gun funnel is used for manual targeting and ranging to allow us to shoot down enemy airplanes without the use of the radar. What we would do is we would fly to place the wingspan of our target in between these two curved lines so that the wings of the target actually touch, more or less, the outside of this gun funnel. And that is manually targeting the gun. We also have a gun cross up here that tells us the exact spot that our gun is pointed. This is the bore sight of our aircraft, more or less. However, the ACM radar modes that we have available to us make the gun a lot easier to use, so we're going to use those today as they will be primarily how you will use the gun in most of your engagements. So to access the ACM radar modes, what we would want to do from here is press forward on our sensor select switch. And if we do that, we now have a very small circle in the middle of our HUD. This is the boresight radar mode. And what that means is that the radar if you look over at our radar screen, it looks paused right now, but it actually is not. The radar beam is slaved to our bore sight, so it is straight ahead and the radar beam's not moving, as well as our antenna elevation is slaved to the bore sight and it is not moving. The radar beam is literally pointing in this circle here. What we would want to do is maneuver our aircraft so that the enemy target is within this circle and then the radar will automatically lock onto him. This is our boresight radar mode. We have two other modes available to us right now. If we go sensor select switch aft, the radar now switches into what's called vertical acquisition or vertical scan mode. Notice the two vertical hashed lines. This denote the scan area of the vertical scan mode. What's actually happening is the radar is scanning in between these two lines roughly and we'll try to lock up anything that it detects in those two lines and this is useful if you're trying to lock up a maneuvering target. If we look over at our radar page here you can actually see that the radar scan line is jutting back and forth in between those two degrees there as well as our antenna elevation is shooting up and down almost like the scan is sort of turned on its side. And that's effectively what's going on here. It's scanning in this vertical area as opposed to scanning a horizontal area that it's used to. We also have what's called wide acquisition mode. So if we go sensor select switch left, we are now in wide angle acquisition mode or WACQ as you can see on the HUD. What this mode is, is it has commanded the radar to enter into a 10 mile scan at, I believe it is 60 degrees. 
left and right, and it is doing a five bar scan. And what's going to happen is if it detects something in that area, it's going to automatically lock it up like before. We have one other ACM mode that's specific to the gun. If I deselect the gun by selecting any other weapon, let's say I select AMRAM, and then I select gun again, you might notice this large hashed circle around the HUD. The gun by default, when you first select it, enters into gun acquisition mode, or GACQ. We don't get an indication that we're in GACQ on the HUD other than this hashed circle. And what this is, is a sort of an expanded boresight mode. What's going to happen is within five miles, if we maneuver an enemy target within this circle, the radar is going to try to lock it up. Pretty simple, right? So now let's uh, see if we can demonstrate some of this stuff. I've got some MiG-29s out in the distance over here, so let's unpause the aircraft and try to go find them. All right, so those targets are about 10 miles ahead of us there. Let's select our gun once again. And there we go, it found one. Got to be within five miles for gun acquisition mode. Now with the gun acquisition mode and a target locked up, we've got some new symbology on the HUD for the radar assisted gun sight. So quick pause and let's take a look at what we have. Pause the camera there. We have our familiar target diamond for our locked target. As you can see there in the distance, we also have a targeting reticle that is now computing accurate range and lead for our gun. And we see this hash mark up the top here. This actually gives us some ranging information for the gun sight itself. We, with uh, the radar lock, we also see our familiar symbology uh, as with air to air missiles before. We have our closure rate as well as our distance. And when we get within a mile, it's going to change to uh, feet distance uh, because when you're using the gun, it is very short range. Uh, your, your best range with the gun is somewhere between 1,000 and 5,000 feet if you're lucky. Uh, the gun becomes woefully inaccurate outside of that. And uh, yeah. So let's unpause again and see if we can't find this guy and shoot him down with the gun. You'll notice that the circle is jittering around a little bit. The further we are away, the more it's going to jitter. Once we get close, it's going to stabilize a bit more. That line you see there is actually the a rough approximation of how the target is maneuvering. So since it's like this, if we actually aim to follow it, the target's sort of maneuvering to our left here. Notice I have a shoot cue now because we're in range. So if I squeeze the trigger and I hit him and he's smoking. So that's really it. That's the basics of using the gun for air to air. Um, you know, for the most part, it's going to kind of be your last resort if you're out of missiles and you're in a dogfight and you need to gun somebody down. These radar modes and the gun are available to you in order to get the job done. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and we'll see you for the next video. Take care.